Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Kate up next, back with another banger video. I hope y'all are all taking care of y'all selves. Hope we're staying sober out here. And I hope we're all putting in that work we're supposed to put in, man. So I just got back home from work. It's a good day of work today. And, you know, the more you stay busy on this journey, bro, and the the more you're not sitting around, the easier it is for real. Because I noticed, man, you're just going to have more energy when you're not smoking. I remember, I remember, tell me if y'all can relate. I remember smoking, like, especially early in the day. And then you come down and it's just like how terrible you felt the rest of the day, man. Like, you would just be walking, just walking through life. And you weren't even present. You know what I mean? You were just kind of like, there you are, you know? You're not really striving for nothing because you just feel so drained. It's like that come down, man. It just it just takes all the energy out of you after you come down from that high, bro. So um, the more we're staying busy out here, man, the better. We need to use this newfound energy we got wisely. And I also like to preach semen retention, no fat. I'm going to make some videos about that pretty soon, too, because uh, I feel strongly about those habits as well. So, you know, I'm going to make videos about that, too. But I know a lot of people are clicking on these videos pertaining to quitting weed. And let me say, man, quitting weed will boost your energy a lot. Um and I also seen a comment, and shout out to the comments, man. Make sure y'all comment and subscribe. But he was talking about how you will start to remember, uh, your memory will come back. And that is so true, man. You will start to remember things that you completely, you just completely forgot about these things, man. And it's so crazy. It just it's, it's, it's so sobering to remember things of your past that... You know, maybe you've, um, in good and bad memories, man, maybe like you've had some, uh, bad memories or like some traumas and you've been stuffing them down by smoking weed a lot, you know, and that stuff will come up, man. If you stay sober long enough, man, you know, you'll, you'll just have emotions come over you, you know, because you've been, you've been stuffing it down and, um, just kind of running away from it for a very long time. And uh, sobering up and quitting uh, quitting weed will uh, kind of force you to face these problems that you've had, you know, or face these traumas you've had in the past. It, uh, it just makes you have to deal with them, which is great because uh, we can really grow from this, you know. And we, we don't have, um, how should I say this? We don't have time to suppress our emotions because the longer we are suppressing something with a drug, if we are coping, you know, the longer we do that, the longer it is until we move on with our life and start to grow and to just move on into the next chapter. And um, I think... Like, there's just a time, man, when we need to put these substances down and whatever it may be for you. But there's just a time where this stuff just doesn't serve us anymore. You know, maybe it was fun. You know, I don't know, but I, I, I'm 22. You feel me? I'm 22 years old. And maybe back in high school when I was like 18, uh, 17, 18 years old, smoking weed and doing all this stuff. It was fun, man, but, like, you just get to a certain age, man, where it's, like, it just doesn't feel the same anymore. It just doesn't serve you, and you're just doing it because you have to do it, and you're dependent on it, you know? And a lot of people out here, man, we are, as a society, being programmed to be dependent on a lot of things, man. We live in a very push-button instant gratification society you know everything that we could want we have and that's okay and it's uh 
that can be a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing, man, if you're not disciplined enough, you know? We have everything at our fingertips, right? So um, it just comes a point, guys, where we need to we, we need to move on from these substances that don't serve us anymore. You know, if um if you're just at a point in your life, man, where you're just not you're not happy, just take a look and see what you're doing and change it, man. Like do the opposite. You feel me? Like if something's not working, man, you gotta change it up. And you got to make yourself uncomfortable. And that's the biggest thing. I think a lot of us, man, we like to stay in our comfort zones, you know. Because, um, you know, it's easy. And it's uh, it's what we know. And it's what we're used to. And there's a chance that if we get uncomfortable, uh, we might fail. Or if we do something new, we might not be good at it at first, right? If you guys are gonna start, if you guys are trying to quit weed for the first time, you're gonna fail, man. And I'm not trying to put you down, but I'm just saying, if you smoke for a very long time, we'll put it like this. Say for me, I used to weigh 130 pounds when I got out of high school. That's skinny as hell, man. I wanted to put on weight. I currently weigh close to 160. If I were to lose five, 10 pounds and go back to 150, I still made progress, right? I went from 130 to 150, even though I lost 10 pounds and I want to gain, gain weight and gain muscle. Same thing. If you have been smoking for a very long time and you decide to quit and you go for a couple days and you smoke, do not be down on yourself, man. You have made progress. You are trying. And, um, next time go longer, you know, you know, like, if you fail, you got to get back up, guys. That's what it's all about, man. Uh, no one's perfect. Only God's perfect. Only the Lord's perfect, you know? So um, we need to push ourselves to get out of our comfort zone. Even when we fall, get back up. And uh, that's what it's all about, you know? We wouldn't be, we would not fail if we didn't try. A lot of people, man, they just smoke weed and they don't have any care in the world about them smoking weed, you know, or any care in the world about any like addiction that is very rampant in our society nowadays, right? I mean, a lot of people watch porn, man. A lot of people uh, don't go to the gym, man. A lot of people have just given up, you know, and you can tell when you walk around and it's sad because... Um, all, all, all we need is a little bit of um. Well, we need some, we need some hope. We need hope, and we get hope from um hardships, and we get hope for from overcoming obstacles, right? Um, if we wish to instill self worth in ourselves, guys, we need to put in the work. The work instills the worth in us, man. If we put in no work, there's no worth. If we are smoking weed and spending all of our day doing nothing. We are not going to feel good about ourselves, guys. And that's why we want to quit weed in the first place is because we feel like shit. You know what I'm saying? And the reason we feel that way is because we're not putting in the work. And quitting weed is the launch pad, I feel like, that was holding me back. And now that I'm quitting, um, man, I can just feel the clarity in my head and the certainty of things that I want to do. And it's... um. It's, it's it's amazing, man. So, um, yeah, man. I've been going on, rambling on now. Um, but I just want to encourage us, man. Stay strong out here, boys. I'm gonna keep posting for us, man. Keep posting for y'all. Keep commenting, man. Share share me share with me what y'all are feeling, you know, and uh, what y'all are experiencing. Cause uh, I want to create a community here where we can all come together, man, and just uh, become great and the best versions of ourselves. So. Uh, let's do it, man. That's all I gotta say for this video, man. Stay strong. Let's go. Put in this work. It's been your boy, Kato. Next, like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.